In this video, we're going to be showing you our brand new Easy Stone Blinginator. And it's a macro here for Corel Draw. It works with Corel Draw X3, X4, and X5. And its purpose is to kind of put the finishing touches on our simulated rhinestone designs. So whether we're showing it to a client or uploading it to a website, it just adds an extra little bit of sparkle to our simulated rhinestone design. And it's really super easy to work with. There are only a couple of functions. So let me just show you how it works. So what we're going to first do is select all of the stones that make up our design. Now there is one important step and that is the cannot be grouped together. So it's uh, ungrouped and then uh, we, we have some settings here for the bling size we can specify size um, we can specify the number of different blings that we want to appear on the selected objects we can choose to have a random sizing of blings so they're not all the same size um, and we can also uh, have them uh, automatically rotate and the amount of resizing that goes on, uh, we can also specify that. We can even specify the bling color, although typically I just use white. Okay, so we have several different modes. We could do a totally random, we can do a horizontal sweep or a vertical sweep. So let me just show you how totally random works. So we have our all of our stones selected, and all we're going to do up here, we have a couple of options. We have the first option, which will uh, apply the bling style 1, bling style 2, and this is user defined. And then we could use an existing object on the page and specify that as the bling object. Um, and we can also uh, swap uh, bling objects if we wanted to, and that's what this one will do. But let's just use the very first option and just click, and there you have it you have all of your bling. So the software just kind of generically, randomly uh, puts whatever number of blings that you requested, these little star shapes, and then we can reposition them. You know, sometimes it'll stack two right uh, close together, and we can just delete ones that we don't want. Okay, so it's really easy to use that way. And we can uh, select all the bling on the entire page or in the current selection and we're just going to go ahead and delete uh, all the bling out so now that all that's gone and then uh, let's go ahead and do another option which would be to select all of our shapes and if I hold down my shift key and click on that first button the advantage that we get here is then I can click and wherever I click I can get bling so I just click and just that area, so you may prefer rather than have it just do it randomly, um, just wherever I click, I can add a little bit of extra sparkle. And that's really, then I simply hit the escape key once I'm done with that. And that's how the Blinginator works. And it's actually a pretty useful little function that I use all the time just to add that extra little touch to all of my simulated rhinestone designs when I'm posting them to the website and also when I'm doing. Uh, proofs to the client just adds a little bit of extra sparkle. Thanks for watching.